वेलकम एवरी वन डॉक्टर नवीन हियर फ्रॉम यू पी एस सी मेडिको सो फॉर मेडिकल साइंस ऑप्शनल स्टूडेंट्स हु आर एस्पायरिंग फॉर यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन दे हैव दिस मिथ दैट द सिलेबस ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस इज ह्यूज राइट येस इट इज़ ए स्पेशलिटी सब्जेक्ट येस इट इज़ अ मिक्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व सब्जेक्ट्स बट एक्चुअली द कॉन्टेंट यू रीड इज ओनली टेन परसेंट ऑफ वॉट यू एक्चुअली रीड इन एम बी बी एस so this requires a proper syllabus understanding i do have uploaded a detailed syllabus understanding video in our upsc medical youtube channel but this video is a demo video of how i am approaching each subject in our video course and i will be uploading similar subject videos of this sort in the course curriculum so that when a student starts learning from the video course he will have a fair idea about what are the focus points so now when you understand and integrate each subject then you might feel it easy right so let's start with pathology all right so in pathology upsc has given the syllabus okay please look here on the slide syllabus includes uh, hardly 10 things or 10 12 things first and foremost inflammation and repair next is disturbance of growth on cancer third is differentiation between benign malignant primary and metastatic malignancies and then we get into the systemic pathology so general pathology see when you look at the general pathology from inflammation and repair you have acute chronic and granulomatous inflammations and also from repair part you have tissue repair and wound healing there is no topic of necrosis apoptosis which are actually important for pg or theory based exams so they won't ask any question on those topics which are like huge chunk of our uh, general pathology right in a similar way when there's a disturbance of growth they are looking at cellular adaptations and in cancer they are asking basic questions that to every each and every year there is a question between differentiate benign versus a malignant malignancy that table is more than important from basics of neoplasia but when you get into the systemic stuff there are around 10 diseases uh, you have to focus on three aspects one is etiology the other is pathogenesis and the other is histopathology okay now try for in our addition to notes what i did this time is i have given the syllabus as a whole and also each topic i have included pq pyqs till the latest year so every year post exam the notes will be updated with the latest pattern of questions if you are not part of the course these are also updated in the focus guide which you can download it for free from the website right so now if you take inflammation and repair okay inflammation and repair you don't have to worry much so they have asked only three topics so far chronic granulomatous and mediators of inflammation that is acute inflammation as a whole they are not asking they are mainly asking on what are the mediators of inflammation so if you read these three topics one is what is a granuloma and what is definition of granulomatous inflammation and causes and what are the mediators of acute inflammation and what is chronic inflammation and its causes and the mediators which are involved in chronic inflammation so these three topics will conclude the overall inflammation topic similarly if you took it repair they have asked three questions in the past one is oh, repair versus wound healing also is a part of tissue repair and wh what are the factors which help in tissue repair and what is the process of wound healing and the mediators which are involved in the repair so mediators part is very important when you focus on this topic likewise each topic each syllabus topic i have divided questions pyq so that you get a fair idea on which focus points to focus lot right and now let's get into the main crunch of the uh, our discussion your take home see as i said understanding syllabus is the key let's let's do it in a integrated fashion right so when you open the syllabus pathogenesis and histopathology under these two headings there are only three topics so if you read rheumatic heart disease see rheumatic heart disease per se is not so important nowadays right 20 20 years back we used to see a lot of rheumatic heart disease cases or rheumatic fever now because of penicillin prophylaxis or usage of antibiotics this has come down definitely right so rheumatic heart disease they're not asking many questions not that important but if they want to ask even in pg questions also they'll ask what is this criteria jones criteria for rheumatic fever right so in that area you they'll not even ask clinical features here for our exam for our exam the main focus is on the histopathology 
how a patient presents uh, on histopathological examination that ask of bodies caterpillar nuclei and all so those kind of things are important similarly lung carcinoma is an asked version they haven't asked question on lung carcinoma so far so when you want to read lung carcinoma only read about the types of lung cancers and their histopathological features that is gross and microscopic clinical features management is not part of our syllabus never focus on the staging clinical features complications of lung cancer because in the syllabus they have give it as pathogenesis and histopathology nowhere in general surgery and general medicine they have integrated this topic next is acute osteomyelitis acute osteomyelitis yes etiology is also asked okay for these two topics only pathology and histopathology but as per the syllabus acute osteomyelitis is from like more or less orthopedics when i say upsc medical science does not include any topics from orthopedics orthopedics anesthesia radiology except medical imaging ent ophthalmology they are not part of our syllabus there are multiple subjects which are not included in the syllabus so that's why it is very important when you starting your medical science preparation to understand that there are subjects which are not there in the syllabus if you don't know that you will think that you have to read the whole mbbs just for the sake of optional that's not true so when i say this yes there are other topics of orthopedics which are included in general surgery not in pathology that is bone tumors they haven't asked any question fracture of spine in 2009 they asked one question of principles of management of fracture of spine and colis fracture recently got approved so these are the three other topics of orthopedics along with this acute osteomyelitis which is integrated with pathology and you have to focus on etiology of acute osteomyelitis now next major topic from pathogenesis and histopathology is tuberculosis tuberculosis see india means tuberculosis right any disease we first suspect tuberculosis because that is that tuberculosis is so common in india we can never ignore right in any differential diagnosis but tb is the most highly integrated topic from medical science optional because it was covered in pathology you had need to know the etiology pathogenesis and histopathological examination along with cns tuberculosis cns tb is very important extra pulmonary tb miliary tb topics are very important from pathology similarly when you go to pharmacology mycobacterial anti mycobacterial treatment att anti tubercular treatment is very important they are asking questions from rifampicin isoniazide right and on top of that it is also part of general medicine in the general medicine you need to know etiology clinical features diagnosis principles of management and preventive measures for tuberculosis and also within general medicine there is a topic called meningitis and encephalitis in which tb meningitis was recently asked in the exam and also we all know how important from preventive aspect psm aspect national tb elimination see now we do not call it as rntcp now it is national tb elimination program critical analysis the program components the future updates all are very important from tb point of view and finally general surgery also there is one topic from tuberculosis that is tuberculosis of the bowel okay intestinal tb which was recently asked in the exam so this is how tb is integrated into multiple aspects but in pathology we will be majorly focusing on cns tb features of cns tb was also asked very recently in the exam etiopathogenesis and histopathology so one major focus here is tb is not part of microbiology syllabus that means they will not ask you the lab diagnosis of tb they'll definitely ask you diagnosis in general from general medicine but the culture media part the, such a detail of um, the stains and all is not that important but because tb is so rampant in our regular course and diagnosis part we do cover tuberculosis the microbiological aspects also okay the culture media and all now this is about tb the other highly integrated topic from syllabus of pathology and in general all the upsc syllabus is ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease or myocardial infarction right they are not synonyms there is subtle variations and differences but in general just to give a fair idea that this topic comes under pathology as pathogenesis and histopathology in general medicine as etiology clinical features diagnosis and management of ischemic heart disease and one more area where i could see lot of questions coming is the lifestyle measures to control cardiac health or cardiac diseases they have asked it for 10 to 20 marks i think recently in psm so this comes under nutritional programs of psm wherein we focus on chronic disease management with diet okay so this is also a very important area where i could see questions coming so what are the lifestyle measures dietary measures exercise related measures which we take to maintain the cardiac health so that area as a doctor as a preventive doctor it is very important for you to know in detail 
And next integrated area, we all know how rampantly the diabetes is progressing in the world. And this is also say, see, if you want to say three diseases which will, which will actually actually hampering the health system of India is are these three. That is TB. ischemic heart disease and diabetes mellitus so in diabetes mellitus also in pharma you have anti diabetic drugs that is insulin and oral anti hypoglycemic classification and all and next in pancreas of physiology physiology you have hormones topic right endocrinology in that there are two glands that are asking regularly pancreas and pituitary gland so in pancreas uh, the beta cells of pancreas secrete insulin and what happens if there is an insulin deficiency hypoglycemia hypoglycemia and, and one more area apart from pathology pathogenesis of sister pathology what you see is complications of diabetes mellitus so you don't need to know the etiology of diabetes clinical features of diabetes the diagnosis but you need to know the complications of diabetes okay for syllabus in the syllabus of general medicine they are only asking enumerate complications what are micro and macrovascular complications and mainly the diabetic ketoacidosis and its management right and in general surgery peripheral vascular disease okay in that diabetic foot is also an important topic from general surgery point of view this is how diabetes is integrated in the syllabus next is neoplasia in neoplasia you need to know the basics but major crux of the questions are coming from this area primary and metastatic the next major problem is cancer in world right so cancer is integrated in multiple aspects but in patho pathology point of view they are asking pathogenesis and histopathology specifics so what are the specifics as i said lung cancer as i started with bronchogenic carcinoma c lung cancer only learn only learn etiopathogenesis and histopathology that's it don't read the treatment it's not there anywhere but if you are reading breast cancer read everything because in general surgery they have included it even the treatment staging right nottingham criteria post surgical complications everything is important you know how in like the most common cancer right breast carcinoma similarly oral carcinoma also the most common cancer in india in men oral cancer is there in two things one in pathology and also in general surgery so one year what happened in 2022 i think in final exam two questions have come from oral cancer one in pathology section one in general surgery section almost similar question so there is that important oral cancer and you know cs cervix india is focusing on cs cervix even in latest health uh, bill also which was introduced uh, the budget they are focusing more on development of indigenous cervical cancer vaccine right so you know the importance of cs cervix cs cervix comes both in pathology and also the gynecology and next what we have is leukemia or blood cancer see there is no lymphoma in the syllabus hodgkins lymphoma non hodgkins lymphoma dcblc so all these topics are not there only one topic is there that is leukemia leukemia means acute myeloid leukemia chronic myeloid leukemia aml and cml they are in the syllabus that's it aml cml but this aml cml comes in also general medicine so you have to learn etiology uh, pathology clinical features diagnosis and management of aml and cml in detail because it is part of both pathology and general medicine now when i am talking about lot of cancers like leukemia and all so overall you need to have an idea in syllabus how many cancers do we have okay mark this number we have 15 cancer for these 15 cancers the sad thing is that you can ignore lung cancer staging but for all these cancers okay you need to know the staging okay you need to memorize it you need to know the latest treatment guidelines and all so starting with oral cancer you have thyroid tumors and larynx tumors which is unasked version they haven't asked many questions so far esophagus was asked recently stomach they haven't asked so many questions so far breast it's a frequent repeat and recently they are focusing more on surgical conditions of anal canal not on anal cancer or rectal cancer but anal cancer and rectal cancer could be a potential questions cholangiocarcinoma not asked but because gallbladder and bile duct is there in the surgical syllabus it could be a potential question see head of pancreas multiple times they are asking question and they are asking core voyeurs law what is its importance and renal cell carcinoma ca prostate are very important adrenal gland tumors unasked version they haven't asked any question they might ask pheochromocytoma that's why i was i covered it in the recent tech series also ca cervix very important leukemia very important lung cancer as i said ignore only pathology and part you have to read so these are the cancers now Uh, what are the cancers that you should prepare in detail? I am just highlighting them here: oral cancer, esophagus and stomach and breast, 
see a head of pancreas see a prostate see a cervix and liver if you want to pick few cancers for exam point of view but in total there is possibility of asking 15 cancers in the exam out of them the eight which i marked are very important now let's also conclude this uh, discussion session by looking at some of the other important topics that there is one topic which is there in the syllabus that is cirrhosis of liver so this topic is also integrated because in pathology they are asking etiology pathogenesis and histopathology in general medicine they are asking clinical features diagnosis and management and in general surgery there is one topic portal hypertension which is complication of cirrhosis liver that means any complication of cirrhosis liver is important for exam point of view once they asked a spontaneous bacterial peritonitis sbp question so any complication which comes with cirrhosis of liver or stigmata of chronic liver disease is very important and suddenly because cirrhosis of liver is now decreasing alcoholic liver disease non alcoholic liver disease is gaining importance worldwide which could uh, be a potential leading cause of chronic liver disease in the world so that's why recently they did ask a question on non alcoholic liver disease also and next glomerulonephritis that is renal pathology tough part but i have recorded around 2 and 1/2 hour detailed video of all the glomerulonephritis things so yes glomerulonephritis majorly asked in pathology but even clinical features diagnosis and management is also important because it is part of general medicine also inflammation as i said in the initial part tissue repair and wound healing we did discuss and there is cellular adaptation there are five things which are important hyperplasia hypertrophy atrophy metaplasia and dysplasia questions have come from these topics in the recent past so this is the syllabus of pathology so there are a lot of things which are not part of the syllabus okay you don't have to worry about all those things only focus on these things so in addition to notes you do have uh, attached pyq so that you have a fair idea about which area to focus and when you have a good understanding and grip over the syllabus i think that makes your job so easy